Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another beauty advent calendar unboxing for 2024. Now today's advent calendar is a brand new advent calendar for 2024 and this is from Beauty Bay. So this is the very first year they've actually brought out a calendar and this is it. So they've gone for this really nice purple design. It's actually two drawers. So all the products are in boxes in the drawers and we've just got this sleeve around it which just says a beauty advent calendar 2024. When this was announced, I wasn't sure if it was going to be like a Beauty Bay advent calendar with just Beauty Bay products inside because of course they do have their own products or if it was going to be a mix of brands that they stock on their website. Now it is a mix of brands which is really nice to see and of course there are some Beauty Bay products in there as well. So this calendar costs £100 and the products inside are worth over £345. We've got 25 days to unbox, we've got a mix of full sizes and minis and it's full of skincare, hair care and makeup. Now this advent calendar is available right now. I purchased it the day it went on sale, which was the 30th of August. Just looking at the sneak peek, it does look like it's a pretty good one. There's a nice mix of product sizes and brands. So at this price point, I don't think it's gonna be around for long. So if you are thinking about picking one up, then definitely do it sooner rather than later. But without further ado, let's dive into the advent calendar and I can show you what's inside. So unlike other calendars, it doesn't tell you like the product on the back or the ingredients or anything like that. It just has a QR code. So you can't really have a sneak peek. Not that you wouldn't want a sneak peek because you're watching this video. But taking the sleeve off, this is what it looks like. So it just says Beauty Bay and then we have, quite heavy, <laughs> two drawers here and then they have the ribbon to open them. So, I don't think they're in any particular order. This is the top drawer and this is the bottom drawer. So I'm just going to keep them out slightly just so it's easier to find products. I'm not opening and closing the drawer the entire time. So let's dive in with date number one. So this is in the bottom. I like that these have little cutouts for your finger, so it just makes it a little bit easier to actually pull the box out of the drawer. So all the products are packaged like this in a purple box with a cutout. So in date number one, we're starting off strong with a product from the Inkey List. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum, and this is 30ml. So this is worth £9, and it's a hydrating serum, so you use it in your serum step of your skincare routine. It says it's a powerful, moisture-binding ingredient. It works beneath the skin surface and can hold up to 1,000 times its weight in water. And you can use it morning or night, and it says if you're going to be layering multiple serums, use this as your first one. I've used this one before, and it's quite nice. Okay, date number two is also in the bottom. They're all just purple, they're all very plain. And oh, we have a double door in day number two, and we have two Beauty Bay products. So these are both by Beauty Bay. And the first one is the High Key Volume Mascara. Ooh. So this is actually full size and it's worth £12. It's an ultra black mascara designed to create instant, the stickers over it, I'm going to assume volume for a panoramic effect. You can apply two to three coats. I only ever apply one coat of mascara because otherwise I feel like it goes a little spidery leggy. Okay, let's look at this wand. Oh, that looks really nice. So it is a silicone wand. We've got some longer bristles and then it tapers to some shorter bristles. That looks fab. Oh, I think I really like that one. That's really nice to see that. And then the other product in day number two is, what are you? It says, by the obsessed, for the obsessed, it's a liquid cream blush. So, oh, that's the shade then, Bomb Bomb. It's in the shade Bomb Bomb. And it's a multi-use lip and cheek liquid with a lightweight creamy satin finish. The ultra pigmented easy to blend formula uses microsphere powders to create a soft focus look that can be built up to suit your vibe. And it's infused with skin loving jojoba and sweet almond oils and it's cruelty free and vegan. I always need a little nail scissors or tweezers handy for unboxings. Okay so let's have a look at the shade. So Bon Bon I'm thinking pink. Definitely pink. I haven't tried a liquid blush from Beauty Bay before. Have a look. Oh, it's it's a very like definitely like, like a bonbon kind of sweetie pink. That looks quite nice. You can tell it's like a little bit powdery, like it describes it as. There's quite a lot in there as well. That's gonna last ages. Like liquid blushes last me such a long time. Six mil, that seems a lot. <laughs> and this is another full size product worth nine pounds. On today, number three. Oh, it's a big one here at the bottom as well. This is a very big one. So in day number three, ooh, we have a really big product. <gasps> oh, okay. This is Bondi Sands Gradual Tanning Lotion Skin Illuminator. Look how big that is. That is massive. 150 ml. I'm liking this. This is fab. Um, I've never actually tried this product, but this is clearly a full size. Um, it says it has shimmer pigments for glowing radiant skin and it builds to a natural looking tan. That sounds perfect. I was literally thinking the other day I need to put something on my legs. 
and a gradual tan is kind of what I'm looking for at the moment. So this is £14 and it says that it's for all skin tones. This nourishing body moisturiser contains shimmer pigments for instant radiance and can be used daily to build a gradual tan. Okay, that sounds fab. So you wash your skin, apply this evenly in a circular motion and wait until touch dry before dressing. That's always my problem. I'm too impatient. I like to get dressed quickly. Uh, yeah, that is fab. I'm very excited to use that one. Okay, day number four and we're in the top. And in day four, we've got a product from Bumble and Bumble. This is the Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Heat UV Protective Primer. So this is 30 mil. So this isn't a full size. And it also comes with this little piece of paper. Um, that's got ingredients on and oh it tells you a little bit about it so it's 30 mil the 60 mil which i assume is more of like a travel size is 15 pounds this is worth around seven pounds 50 it says you spray on damp or dry hair comb through and style and it says on this little piece of paper it's a mist of many wonders it softens detangles defrizzes tames flyaways easy styling and protects against breakage heat styling and uv damage Whew, that sounds fab i think i might have used this one before i can't remember but yeah, you can't go wrong with a heat protection spray. That's a very popular one as well. Day number five is another big one in the top drawer. And in day five, another double door. And we have two Spectrum brushes. That's fab. So we've got the A04 and A17. So obviously both of these are full-size brushes. And they're all packaged, they're packaged individually as well, like... You can literally purchase them like this. So the A04 is the tapered finisher brush, and this is worth £8.99. It says use for the precise application of powder to set and finish your makeup. You apply targeted highlighter or blush using the soft tapered brush tip. Spectrum brushes are so nice. Like, I have so many of them. I've lost count how many brushes I've got from Spectrum, but they're always fab, really good brushes, very good quality, and they last such a long time. So I've probably already got this one, but there's no harm in having more. And then the other one is the A17. Again, this is obviously a full-size product. And this is 5 dollars So this is the angled brow brush. To define, shape and fill brows with cream and powders using the small and firm angle of the brush head. Yeah, really good. Very happy with those. They're fab. So I've got something for the brows and something for applying powder. Okay, day six in the top drawer. And in day six we have got, oh, Super Goop Glow Screen, SPF 30 and it's 10 mil. So this is just a little mini. I really like this product. So the smallest of this that you can buy on the website is the 15 mil and that's 17 pounds. This is 10 mil, so not quite the travel size, more like a sample. But yeah, this is a hydrating, glowing sunscreen primer. So this helps prime your skin ready for makeup, but it's also an SPF. So you don't need to put your SPF on and then wait and then apply a primer. And this gives you a dewy, glowy champagne finish. So it gives you that little bit of glow under your foundation and you can also wear it on its own as well. It's also vegan and cruelty free. What we like to see means I don't have to check the ingredients. Day number seven is up here. And in seven, we've got, oh, a full-size product from Kevin Arquan. <gasps> this is the curling mascara in black. This is a full-size mascara from Kevin Arquan. That's amazing. So this is actually 27 pounds. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. It is the second mascara and we're only on day seven, but this is, this is nice to see. So I'm not actually gonna open this one just yet because I do have quite a lot of mascaras open at the moment and once you open them, you have to use them within a certain amount of time and I don't really want to use gone off mascara on my eyes. And I'm very excited about this one. I've never actually tried this from Kevin Ocon, but the other products from this brand I absolutely love. But this is a protein-based formula which coats and shrink wraps onto each and every lash as it dries for a separated, thick and curled finish. It's a specially designed brush that perfectly applies pitch black pigment without clumping or flaking. And again, vegan and gluten free. That's amazing, I'm so happy with that. What a fab product. We don't see Kevin O'Quinn in many calendars anymore, which is a shame because it's a really fab brand. Day number eight in the bottom. Well, this is the heavy one. And in eight, we've got a product from Herbivore. And this is the Aquarius BHA and Blue Tansy Clarity Cleanser. I've never used this before. I've never even seen this brand before. I like the packaging though. This looks so nice. I love the blue as well. It's gorgeous. So this is a 50 ml. It's worth around 10 pounds. Um, online, you seem to buy them in duos. There seem to be two lots of 50 ml for 20 pounds ish. So this is a lightweight gel cleanser with soothing properties, ideal for blemish prone skin. So the BHAs are gonna be gently exfoliating your skin. Um, you apply one to two pumps to wet skin, lather and massage the face, avoiding the eye area. Yeah, this is something I would use as a second cleanse. Um, it is obviously designed more for blemish prone skin. Um, I don't really have that 
my skin is quite, I would say, normal. But I would still try this out. Um, because if it is just a little bit too dry and a little bit too exfoliating, I could just use it maybe every other day or every three days or so. That looks so nice and so premium, doesn't it? And it's a glass bottle as well. Okay, day number nine. A little thin one here. Ooh, okay. This looks like a highlighter from Revolution. It is. It's the Beam Bright Silk Touch Highlighter. So this is a full-size highlighter and it's the shade Diamond Glow. This looks so nice. I feel like highlighters were popular a few years ago and then they kind of went out a little bit, but... They seem to be coming back and I'm here for it. I used to love a little pop of highlight here. Corner of my eyebrow on. Oh, that is so pretty. Let's swatch this. Ooh, okay, that's quite nice actually. When I first applied that then, I didn't think it was actually that glowy, but when it catches the light, that's nice. So this is full size and it's worth $6.95. Day number 10 at the bottom, fairly heavy. In day 10, we have a product from NYX and it's the Matte Finish Fini Matte Makeup Setting Spray. It's been so many years since I've actually used this product, but this was one I really liked. So it's a makeup setting spray and it's a matte finish. It gives up to 16 hour wear over makeup and here is 60 mil. So you can actually buy it in this size and it's eight pounds and it's said to be lightweight and comfortable so your skin can still breathe, but it gives a nice matte finish. Okay, day 11, another really big one. Oh, what's this? A full size product from Beauty Works. This is the Bounce Back Volume Spray. Lift and hold from root to ends. I've never actually used this product. This is a new one for me. So this is 200 ml and it's worth 20 pounds. So what does this do then? It says the Bounce Back Volume Spray is a root to end volumizing spray that gives hair shape, memory and long lasting fullness. It's enriched with nurturing plant based oils. The lightweight formula adds grip and texture to hair whilst keeping each strand soft and flexible. So you can use it on wet and dry hair. It's perfect for creating a bouncy blow dry or perfecting your curls. So you basically saturate your hair with this product wherever you want volume and fullness. Something a bit different, isn't it? I'd probably use that at the top of my hair then, like at my roots here, just to give it a little bit more like volume here. But yeah, full size. Day number 12. So in day 12, we have, oh, ooh, this is the Beauty of Josan Ginseng Essence Water. I've wanted to try this brand for the longest time and I just haven't picked anything up and it's very rare that it comes in boxes and stuff. How exciting. So this is the essence water and it says after cleansing, pour a few drops into your hands and pat gently onto the face. So yeah, that's how you use an essence. So this is 40 mils and it's seven pounds 50 to buy. I'd say this is a travel size. Oh, I'm so excited about this. So it contains ginseng root water, 80% and niacinamide, 2%. This is fab, I'm so happy about this one. So on the website, it describes it as a refreshing toner which leaves skin feeling plump, hydrated and revitalized. The formula contains niacinamide to control sebum and target enlarged pores and ginseng to address hyperpigmentation and UV damage. Over time, it helps improve skin elasticity, reduce dullness and fine lines and enhance a natural glow. That sounds so good. I love ginseng in skincare as well and Korean skincare is always the best. Day 13, quite a big one, but quite light. And we have got, uh, oh, product from Zit Sticker. This is the Goo Getter Clarifying Blemish Patches. So these are hydrocolloid patch for surface level zits. And we've got 18 in here. So these contain niacinamide and salicylic acid to minimize the appearance of surface level zits. So these are basically like spot patches. So if you get a spot, you pop this on and it does its magic and gets rid of it a lot quicker. So it works by absorbing impurities and extracting the goo curbing redness and improving the complexion as well. Um, so 18 in here. So the full size box of these is 36 patches and in here we get 18. The 36 are 18 pounds, this is worth around nine pounds. I don't often get like surface level spots, it's very rare. I do sometimes, but very, very rare. So I probably wouldn't use these, but I suppose they're good to have in, just in case one comes out of nowhere. Date number 14 and in here we've got a product from Glow For It, and it's the Lash Serum for longer and healthier lashes. So this is 3ml. This is actually a full size product worth £30, and it's a lash serum. Oh, that looks so nice. If it made my lashes look like that. That would be incredible. So this is a lash serum that you apply at night to clean dry eyelashes. You allow it to absorb undisturbed overnight, and then use it every single night. With lash serums, I like to look at the reviews first to see what people think of it. Has it worked for them? Um, and this one has 232 reviews on the Beauty Bay website and it's a 4.7. So people seem to like this one. Yeah, that sounds good. 
Um, I will check the ingredients on that first because there are some lash serums which contain an ingredient that isn't actually that good for the eye area. So I will double check that first. But the reviews are incredible. So day 15 is here. And on day 15 we have got, oh it's a fragrance. So this is Shea and Blue and it's the Black Tulip Natural Spray Fragrance. And it is 10 mil. So this is just a miniature like travel size one, but you can actually purchase this in this size and it costs 25 pounds. So I think I've used these like a long time ago and I wasn't really sure what I thought of them. Should I have a spritz? Oh, Ooh, that's actually really nice. That reminds me of a fragrance I've already got. That is so nice. I did not expect to like that. Okay, okay. So it's the Black Tulip Fragrance Eau de Parfum. It's a chocolate plum and wood scented fragrance. That sounds so nice and smells so nice. Day 16 at the bottom. And we've got a serum from Minimalist, a new brand for me. This is the Salicylic Acid 2% Face Serum with Oligopeptide 10 and EGCG and Whorehound Extract to reduce oiliness and clear pores for acne prone skin. So 30 ml, this is a full size product and this is 11 pounds. So like the Inky List, it tells you on the side at what point in your skincare routine to use this and it also tells you what it works best with. So this actually works best with tranexamic acid and niacinamide. And you, you can use it morning or night. Day 17, this little one in the corner. And we've got a product from Bubble. I've never used this brand before. I've seen this all over socials, but yeah, I've never actually used this. This is the Slum Dunk Hydrating Moisturiser, 30 mil. And this size is 10 pounds. So this is a rich hydrating cream that helps to restore moisture, calm skin prone to redness, and visibly improve the texture. And you can use it morning and night. It's for dry to normal skin types, including sensitive. How cute is that? So I've seen this being promoted online for teen skin. So obviously with a lot of teenagers getting into skincare earlier, um, some dermatologists have recommended that Bubble is actually a good brand for them to start with instead of like Glow Recipe and Drunk Elephant. And this moisturiser is formulated with aloe leaf juice to protect the skin, vitamin E to fight environmental stressors, avocado oil to reduce redness and blue light protection. What number are we on? 18 is it? Yeah, day 18. Nearly finished the bottom one. And we've got a product from Dermalogica. Recognise this product anywhere. This is the pre-cleanse oil. I love this product, this is so good. So this is the 30 ml travel size. And this is worth 15 pounds. I think they've actually made the bottle a little bit thinner because I can actually see the liquid. Used to be thicker plastic, so maybe they're reducing the plastic usage, that's good. Um, yeah, this is a really nice pre-cleanse to remove makeup, to remove any SPF and oil from your skin before you go in with your second cleanse. It's a deep cleansing oil that melts makeup and impurities from skin. You can achieve ultra clean and healthy looking skin with the double cleanse regimen that begins with a pre-cleanse. So yeah, really, really nice product. I love this. Used it for a long time. Day 19 at the top. And we've got, ooh, a fave. This is the Urban Decay Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. This is so good. I've literally finished one of these today. And here's another one. I have so many of these and this is honestly one of the best makeup setting sprays out there. This is just the mini, it's 15 mil. You can't actually buy it in this size. The smallest size is the 30 mil, but this is so good. It says it boosts makeup vibrancy, transfer resistant, keeps skin cool and fresh, no makeup cracking or flaking, controls shine, all day wear. Yeah, it's fab, it's so good. One of the best. Day 20 is a product from Laneige. Oh, I recognize this. This is the Gummy Bear Lip Glowy Balm. So I actually discovered this recently in, oh, was it the travel edit from Cult Beauty? Was it Space NK? I think it was Space NK. This smells so good. So this is basically a lip balm and it smells like gummy bears. It is so nice. So you can actually buy this size for £17.50. It says your daytime solution to hydrated and tinted kissable lips. You can just apply it as and when and this smells so good. I wouldn't recommend eating it. Oh, it just smells incredible. I do really like the Laneige products for the lips. I use the Laneige overnight sleeper mask and that's really nice. Day 21, nearly at the end. And in 21, we've got a product from Glow Hub. This is the Gem Gleam Collagen Up Lip Glow. Ooh, okay. I've only ever tried the blush from Glow Hub. This one. This is a lip product. So it's in the shade Milked, I think. So this is full size worth £10. And oh, okay, that's a very pale shade. Yeah, the shade Milked. Oh, that's hardly anything. That That's just like, that is almost 
clear. That is so pale. That's actually not bad. I thought that was gonna be a bit of an unusual shade, like when am I gonna wear that shade? But that actually it might be quite nice over like a nude lip or just like an everyday lip balm kind of colour. Yeah, not bad. Not the most exciting shade, but maybe it's more wearable. Day 22. And in here, we've got a product from Danessa Myricks and it's the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder for face and eyes. I've never heard of this. It's in the shade Universal. Oh, that, that lip gloss smells really nice. It smells like watermelon. Um, yeah, this is six grams, so it's not the full size. The full size is 18 grams and it's 39.50, so it's roughly a third of that. This is a texture reducing, coverage boosting, blurring balm to powder that balances oils throughout the day whilst maintaining hydration. So you tap on with your fingers to smooth and blur textured areas. Interesting, I've never seen anything like this. A balm to powder. So the full size comes with a little spatula, but obviously this one doesn't. How do we open it? Oh, you twist it. Yeah, it just looks like a, a balm, like a lip balm. Hmm, interesting. I'm intrigued by that product. Day 23 at the bottom, so it's the last one in the bottom drawer. And we have another lip product. This is from e.l.f. and it's the Glow Reviver Lip Oil. And it's infused with apricot oils. This is the shade Red Delicious, a nice red lip for Christmas. This is what we like to see. It hydrates and nourishes the lips. It's vegan, cruelty free. That looks really nice. I've not actually tried the lip oils from e.l.f. yet, so this is exciting and I'm glad that it's actually red for Christmas. Of course, this is full size and it's worth eight pounds. Looks like it has a really nice applicator as well. Date number 24, so Christmas Eve, and we have one of my faves, can we guess? The Bum Bum Cream, of course. So this is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Bum Bum Cream. Uh, this is 75 ml, this is worth around 21 pounds. And this is fab, this is one of my favorite body moisturizers. It smells incredible, it's super rich and creamy. It's so nourishing on the skin, and yeah, I absolutely love this one. Very happy to see that in here. I'm sure most people love that. And day 25, so Christmas day. This is quite a big box. And we've got a Buy Beauty Bay eyeshadow palette. So this is a nude matte nine color palette. So of course this is a full size product and it's worth nine pounds 50. Quite affordable for an eyeshadow palette. Let's have a look at these shades. Very well bubble wrapped. So this is what the packaging looks like. And the shades. Oh, perfect. These are literally very everyday colours for me. Um, yeah, nude matte shades. Does what it says on the front. Um, so we've got some nice pale shades and also a very dark black as well. So that's going to be fab for creating nice smoky eyes, just everyday neutral eyes. I really like that. I know some people will prefer to see more exciting eyeshadows, maybe like sparkly ones or bright colours or something like that in an advent calendar. Um, but for me, this is a very usable palette. This will get used a lot because it's just very everyday colours for me. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So that brings us to the end of the Beauty Bay Advent Calendar unboxing for 2024. So this Advent Calendar, I think, is priced very well. It's £100, which is kind of on the lower end of the multi-brand Advent Calendars, which I think is really nice. They've made it more affordable. We've got a nice mix of skincare, hair care, and makeup. We've got some iconic products in there that people love. I love that we've got some Buy Beauty Bay products in there as well, so we can try the brand if we've not tried it before. I do feel like a lot of the skincare products are more geared towards like oily or like blemish prone skin. So it means that they're not always the products that you would choose, um, but that is kind of a risk when purchasing like a skincare calendar. You might get a bit of everything. We had a couple of setting sprays as well. They are just minis though. So that doesn't really bother me too much. Uh, quite a few lip products, but slightly different. So we had the gloss, we had the balm, and then we had the oil. So I'm not too mad about that either. Uh, we had a fragrance, which was actually very nice. It surprised me, didn't expect it like that. And yeah, overall, I think that was a pretty good calendar, especially at this price point. Um, the only thing I would maybe take into consideration is this is £100 for £345 worth of product, whereas the Look Fantastic calendar is also £100, and that's 565 I think it is. So you're getting a lot more value in that one for the same price as this, but it's still a really good calendar. And at the end of the day, if these are the products that you're gonna use, that you enjoy, or that you want to try, then this is much better value for you. There's no point getting a calendar just because it's higher value if you're not gonna use the products. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Um, I will try a lot of these. A lot of these products are brand new for me and I'm looking forward to trying them out. Some, of course, iconic products. The blemish products I might 
pass on to someone. Um, but I mean, the zit stickers are always handy to have in. You never know when a spot's going to pop up. So that is my thoughts on the Beauty Bay Advent Calendar. I think for the very first calendar that they've launched, I think it's a pretty good one. Let me know all your thoughts on this calendar in the comments down below. Let me know if you've picked it up, picking it up, or thinking about it. And if you did enjoy this unboxing, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe. All the links for all the calendars this year are in the description of the video, so click down below if you're interested in picking any of these up. But thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you soon for another video. This year, it's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh Forget about everyone else